By the end of this video, you will have a pivot table in Excel that looks like this, with a column showing a summary of your business expenses and personal expenses separated into two columns. With this view, you can see how much income and tax deductions you can claim for your work or that side business without buying software or setting up separate bank accounts. This is just an example of a subcategory. You can choose any other name that you like instead of business and personal. Now to separate your business transactions from your personal transactions, we're going to add a third column in the reference tab here and we'll call it tax type. I'll go through each unique reference and I will individually label them business or personal. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch me go through each line. Feel free to use different names and remember adding more than two names will mean more separate columns in the pivot table, which is handy if you have more than one side business. Okay, that didn't take very long. Now that we've got the business and personal identifiers added to our reference tab, we need another VLOOKUP in this empty column here to the side of our bank transactions in the data tab. At the top cell, I'll give it a header name called tax type. Click on the top cell in the second row of this new column and press the equals button and then type VLOOKUP and open bracket. Now click on the cell with the left formula on the same row then press the comma button. Then we'll need to go to the reference tab and then select column A through to C at the same time. So all the data in the field is selected and then press the comma button again. Now enter the number three for column three, then press comma, then lastly type false for an exact match. Then close the brackets and press enter. Now in the data tab, we'll need to click on the left mouse button on the right hand side of the tax column here and we'll copy the new VLOOKUP formula all the way down to the last row with data and it will update each row automatically with the tax type name. Now each row in this column will either show the tax type of either business or personal automatically allocated to each line. Remember to fix any errors for formulas not copied across correctly to each line or missing unique identifiers in the reference tab as you add new data for new periods. Now go to the summary tab and click on your pivot table. As we add a new column of source data, we now need to add this to our pivot table reference. Click on the pivot table and then go to the pivot table analyze ribbon up the top here and then go to change data source here, then change data source. In this new dialog box, we've got all the data in column A to column H currently selected and we now need to change it to column A to column I to include the new tax type column then click OK. To add your tax type field to the pivot table, click on the tax type field and drag it to the column section of your pivot table by holding the left mouse button from here and drop it by taking your finger off the button, mouse button to here. This will now separate all of your business expenses from your personal expenses from your pivot table. Make sure you add your year and month fields in the filter. So you can also select the tax year and exclude old data from another tax year. That's not relevant. You can also view your subcategories underneath each major category by clicking on tax type and moving it across down into the rows section of your pivot table. Then you can click the expand button. You could also add your year field in the column section of the pivot table instead if you keep all data selected to separate each year. So you can compare the amounts and make sure you're not missing out on any tax deductions or over claiming any tax deductions. Now that you're tracking your business expenses, the next best thing to do is to add a budget column to this pivot table you just created by watching this video on your screen right now, which will help you plan your future spending, income goals for the year, and help you stay on track. And best of all, it's free and it's offline.